Go ahead. Hey fans, it's that time of year again. Welcome to the auto show. Wow, here first stop is the Chevy lot. Look at this Duramax. They're not pretty, but they're pretty cool. New power rates, 470 horsepower and 975 pound-feet of torque. Wow. This truck is beautiful inside. It's all laid out nice. These trucks I better drive. But they're not fun, we have to do emissions garbage on them. Here's the new Corvette E-Ray. It has a 6.2 liter LT2 V8 with engine with direct injection and electric drive unit powering the front axle combined to provide up to 655 horsepower. It's also the first electric all-wheel drive. It's paddle shift, but sure, you don't hit the clutch, but it's a dual clutch transmission, so it's not a true automatic. Here's the Z06. I'd love to hear this thing rod. That'd be a dream. <sighs> thing feels like a fighter. Thing looks like a fighter plane inside. I wish we could get in it. Here's a Camaro SS. Excuse me, please. Two SS convertible. And it's a six speed manual. Too sweet. As we get at this thing. The gauges look so cool. There. Um, I know, I gotta get my, but I want a ZL1. Camaro ZL1 would be the ultimate Camaro for me though. Here's one of the Silverado chassis cabs. These things look pretty cool. Strong, powerful, reliable. Duramax. There's a 30,000 pound gross combined weight rating. Problem that it's only two wheel drive. I need four wheel drive. It's got the Duramax L5D, which is a detuned L5P. It still uses the Allison 1000. Certified clean idol. Navistar. Uh, no. Well, that Navistar engine's just a rebranded Duramax underneath there, guys. Thing looks really neat. It's a nice looking Ford dump truck. F550. See what engine this thing has. Fuel copy raised that required for the vehicle. Really. Well, probably absolutely atrocious being a gasser. Where's the... What motor does it have in it? Don't say. You know, holy crap. People are piled up for the ramp. Some super duties. Uh, it's a 6.7. It's What? You wait? Okay, thanks. I want to ask if I can fail Bryden. Are any these trucks here diesels? It has to be a diesel. It has. Any of these trucks? Excuse me, please. Thank you. Are any of these, do you know of any of these trucks? 
Power, looks to be a power wagon. Nice to meet you too, buddy. All right, so yeah, this is our Ram uh, Laramie 1500 GT. Looks like it's a champ. Yep. All right, so we're gonna go up on to about a 20 to 25 degree two and test it today. Yep. <laughs> wow. We're having that wide wheelbase, low center of gravity. Yep. This one uses what we call a four corner air suspension. We raise it up and down. So you get up to 10.7 inches of ground clearance on the deep. Very deep. <laughs> so we got a 25 degree left. Woohoo! Performance exhaust, got the paddle shifters here. So. Uh, that's nice. What what brand do you use for the old air intake? Uh, tell you the truth, I don't know which, which brand they use for it. Yep. Uh, 5.7 liter engine, uh, heavy V8. Yep. Uh, that's impressive. Yeah. No, thank you for the ride. Yeah, one second, gonna blow up on the way. Okay. Well, I'll wait then. Hey, that ride was really, really fun. I gotta say, I love the new ramps. Let's check out the Fords. This is a F-350. 6.7 liter power stroke. Excuse me, please. It's all right. Inside the stink. Yes, thank you. Looks really nice. They are pretty trucks. I'll tell you what, the GMs, the new Chevys, they look hideous. Look hideous, the new Chevys. We all these fast boys. We've been trying to get a new Ford for two and a half years now, and we can't get us one. Uh, probably, probably because it sells well. Gas or diesel? Uh, well, now we're thinking of a hybrid. Oh, hybrid? So we were going to go for the electric and they couldn't get the 600 mile battery. So we're thinking our friends are all buying. Yeah, they're Power stroke was absolutely beautiful. They're bored we're out here. But let's go check out the Lightning. I think it looks nice. This thing is a pretty neat looking truck. Hey, I can't get inside right now. Let's take a look at this Mustang. Ah, it's the EcoBoost. Yeah, we want V8s. Here's a Mustang with the Coyote V8. It's got, it's got 450 horsepower. It's a six speed, two. Get inside. See what this thing looks like inside. This thing would be fun to drive. Where's the ignition? They still have a manual transmission now. Check out this Ram 3500 with a 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel. Use it. It has a, it uses a push button ignition. I'm not really fond of on a diesel because I want, because that computer system could malfunction and cause the engine to start without heat. 
without the grid here goal points that you get. <laughs> With that being said, though, I heard actually, yeah, no matter how times you press it, though, it won't, it won't start until the, until the cycle is complete. These have six speed transmissions. You can either get the 68 RFE or the ASIN. I'd go for the ASIN. And the screen looks nice. It's a pretty neat looking truck. Let's take a look under the hood here. Six, oh, here's the common six, seven. It's actually still, you know what? But there actually is still a fair amount of space under the hood here. size of that fan. Big skews. Pretty cool looking truck. Go for a Jeep ride. Oh, Jeep to him. Seventy-five degrees. Wow. Thirty-five degrees. Okay, but still very impressive. Yeehaw! Hey. That's that's quite the angle. Now time for the stair. This is nothing. I used to drive a. 140. Right. <laughs> well, thank you for the ride. Thank you for letting me take video. Uh, thank you, you too, sir. Uh, those Jeep rides are unbelievably impressive. I, I am not disappointed. Here, take a look at the six, seven power stroke. Look how cramped that thing is. At least it's got 10 speed. How cramped that thing is. Take note, Ford. I mean, it's a diesel. Most diesels are cramped under the hood, but that's, that's cramped even for a diesel. That's a cab off job right there if you need to do anything major. It's any diesel today. Let's go check out some other stuff. But first, I'm gonna go grab a bite to eat. The Asian vehicles. I'm not crazy about them. Here's the Audi booth. Lexus is way over there. Here's Cadillac. This is all the luxury vehicles. Oh, Acura's over there. Go. Check the boat. These Cadillacs are nice. Probably they're electric. See? I have no interest in electric vehicle. Oh, here's the Infinity booth. Thinking of you. Genesis. Over there. These look pretty cool. Lexus looks pretty cool. V8. Sweet. Only. Only one thing I wish. Manual transmission, people. It's not your sports car, it's an automatic. Okay. This thing looks pretty cool. It's even a stick. The problem is, it's a four door sedan. See what engine it is. Looks to be a four bagger. I don't know much about the Asian vehicles. I'm more of an American vehicle guru. Pretty cool though. To the lower level and find some classic cars. Look at that old Fernandi. Transit Marsh. 1989 Ferrari 348 TS. Nineteen sixty nine Camaro SS three ninety six. Nineteen seventy Corvette C three convertible. 
350, 350 horsepower L46. Pretty powerful. Actually, it's not as good as, a, as the Corvette C3 ZL1, which is very rare. And yes, there was a Corvette ZL1. It's a Stingray. You know, a guy with one different color. And I, that, was, that thing looks hideous. 1950 Edsel Ranger. Olds 442. Cool vehicle. Uh, looks to be a stick. Olds Cutlass. 1960 Chevy Impala. Old Rise Center. That's a 1985 Buick Rivi Riviera. No, Riviera. Cool car. The cars are pretty cool. Let's see if we can find some the high speed, most expensive car in the world around here. That's what I'm really looking for. Chevy Silverado with the Duramax. Oh, let's check out the GMC Sierra. There's an L5P for you. Yeah, it's still pretty cramped in the engine bay. Shouldn't be trash talking forward like that. I mean, I mean, this is a little better, but not much. It said diesels are all the same. Let's get inside. Check out the back seat. It's really nice up here. Hey. Driver's seat. The cockpit is I gotta say, this is uh, it's got the push button start stop. Like I said, again, not fond of that on the engine. Almost four, almost as much as a four on that thing either. Rock Hill, they're playing pop me as I come. I can't, unfortunately, I can't start start the engine. It'd be cool to hear an L5P run, but uh, you can barely hear it because it's so quiet. These have the 10 speed L's, it's a 2500. Recharge rally. Lamborghini. I don't know. I don't know much about supercars. I don't know. I think this actually looks to be a Murcielago. What kind? You know what kind of Lambo it is? It's a Murcielago. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, look at the. Thanks, Pete. <laughs> Thanks, Pete. <laughs> Beamer. Not a fan of them. Excuse me, please. These look pretty cool. That's it. There's a Beamer. It's a sedan. I said I am not fond of sedans. Excuse me, please. Mustang. There's a Porsche over there. Well, it looks to be a 911. I mean, that's pretty much all there is. Porsche GT3 RS. Those are pretty cool. Excuse me. Thank you. Look how cool these cars look. Ah, these driving these things would be a dream come true. There's a lamp. No mercy. That's a. There's a mercy a lago. It's an automatic, but it's got the paddles. So, look cool. There's an R8. C8R. This is what they race in Daytona. Excuse me, please. Yep. This has the flat plane crank that's in the Z06, but it's actually tuned a little different. It actually creates less power. So 500 some horses. Pretty cool looking car. Ah, oh, God, I wish I could get in these things. Ferrari! SJ. Excuse me, please. Lamborghini Yulus. Tennessee's here. Tennessee Veloso after 
600. Cool vehicle. MW. Ultimate money pit. <laughs> Beamers. Oh, there's a Beamer? Not for me, though. It's got completely covered. I think it's due to hide the complexity from you. <laughs> I think some of these are what I was looking for. Aston Martin. Be well. Mercedes. V it's got a V12 bi turbo in it. I can't get the mile number from this angle. Oh, for the Bentleys. Aston Martin SUV. I don't want to think about this. Excuse me, please. Thank you. Wait, no, that's not an SUV, that's a crossover. Your full SUV will be body on frame. Be basically, it's basically a half ton truck without a bed. That's not, that's a, that's, that's a problem. Look at that car. Is that what's up? Bentley. I'm a tad bit disappointed there's no Bugatti. Also, though, the show is pretty cool. Take another look at the Corvette. Let's go take another look at the Corvettes. Before we go over to the Corvettes again, let's take a look at the Silverado High Country. Let's get the Duramax LM2. Help. Oh, there, hoods open. Duramax two, new increase. Three hundred some horsepower and just five hundred pound pound torque. Just right around there. This thing creates incredible power. It's got as much power as. Diesels from early 2000s. They're fast. Don't let me impress. Not gonna lie, I wish they would let you get in and out. That thing looked like it sounds awesome. Yeah, I mean, you won't be able to buy them. Let them at least sit in there you know, let, and see what it feels like. They must really cherish them. It's removable top. That LT6 sounds awesome. No, I'm not playing drinks, but that one's an exception. It sounds absolutely amazing. Now I'm waiting on the CATR1 next. The Zora. The CR1's supposed to be twin turbo. Apparently, GM keys in it. Online, they have an LT7 engine, which is the twin turbos. That's gonna be cool. Go back to the Ram booth. Ram TRX. Excuse me, please. Thank you. They, they covered that up. It, it's actually a, it's got aid to the supercharger. Big old Hellcat V8 in there. Honestly, I am not fond of how the windshield sits over the motor. My car wizard complained about that with the uh, with the uh, 2002 Camaro, but honestly, I wouldn't. Honestly, I imagine moving the cab is pretty easy with the, with a lift, and these Hellcat motors are actually fairly reliable. That's probably the most reliable out of all of them. In my shoes. That is a pretty cool vehicle. Come on, check it out inside, baby. Boy, I wish they'd let you start it. I can only imagine how mean this thing sounds.
this. Let's go to the Dodge booth and see if they have any Hellcats. Excuse me, please. Excuse me. Dodge Challenger SRT Scat Pack. This is a 485 horsepower 6.4 liter Hemi 392. It's got that. Personally, I think this is kind of a joke. Honestly, only time it's really effective is when you have a supercharger. 5.7 liter Hemi V8 charger. I'm not crazy about the charger. I don't like sedans. Challenger's more my speed. Love the retro. 180, not bad. You can get the Challenger with a manual transmission. Got here. Look at the Jeeps. Woo! Hoops are pretty hard to get in and out, but at least they look somewhat cool and they have some good support. Now let's look at Jeep Wrangler. Here's a Jeep Wrangler, but it's Ford by E, which is the electric. I am not fond of that. Twenty combined city highway. Actually, that's not too bad. It's a little bit better than my Duramax gets. That's guess Well, I gotta give the hybrid credit. It's just really good fuel economy. I want to look at the other Jeep models. They look ugly. What else is there that's worthwhile here? So yeah, I think that's all that there is here that's truly interesting. You probably don't want to look at the Volkswagen. I want to look at the Chevys and the Fords and, and the Chrysler products. That's really in the course of supercars. I really enjoy the video, though. Let's have on. Oh, one more stop. Look at the Silverado High Country with the Duramax in it. Let's get inside of it. But first, let's take a look at the fuel look time. 22 6 highway. I gotta say, that is actually kind of sad. Especially considering my truck gets 22 highway. And it's quite a bit heavier. There's about. Like the earlier diesels got like 30 miles per gallon. It's a uh, but let's see how comfortable it is and try to make up for it. This truck is beautiful inside. I said again, not fond of that, but. Nice. No, oh, not a gaster. It's not a diesel. Let's get out of this thing. Oh. I love the sit down on boards. Let it barely go in. Okay, that's it for the night. Now let's go home. Let's get it and go home. I'm lazy. start up look at that six liter though that thing sounds beautiful it's a shame they're so unreliable i gotta say this truck does sound pretty good okay let's get out of here
Edward Hobb. That was a, this was a fun day. That was the 2023 Cleveland Auto Show. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. And share the video so you can get that out there. And please comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I want your favorite. My favorite might have been the Jeep ride. I love the fact that they let you shoot videos on there. And the Ram ride. Those are both cool. As always, thank you for watching. See you next time.